Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 1016 Chapter Shame Eripathanayana was one of the 63 Nainmars. He was born in Karuhu in Chola Kingdom. He was a savage scholar. He used to hold a weapon called Malu at all times in his hand. With that weapon, he used to prevent disciples of Lord Shiva from being attacked by enemies. One day, a disciple of Shiva was going to a temple holding a flower basket. The royal elephant of the king went frenzy and ran indiscriminately. It plucked the flower basket from the disciple and threw it. Hearing this, Eripath Nayanar rushed to the spot and with the Maru instrument, he killed the elephant and the Mahout. The king thought that only enemies killed his palace elephant and he came to the spot along with his four classes of forces. On seeing Eripath Nayanar, the king worshipped him and stood silently. Eripath told the king that he killed the elephant and the Mahout because it caused damages to the flowers bought by a disciple to Shiva temple. On hearing this, he had pleaded as the elephant had inflicted trouble to a saint and the disciple of Lord Shiva. He was also becoming responsible in one way or the other and hence the punishment already awarded to the elephant and the Mahout would culminate if he was also killed. Saying this, he also brandished a knife and handed it over to Eripath Nayana. Eripath Nayana was surprised at the king's devotion towards the devotees and the disciples of Lord Shiva. If he refused to receive the knife from the king, the king might use the same knife and kill himself. Eripath Nayana regretted for the incident and the two fought for a king who was affectionate and sympathetic towards the devotees and the disciples of Lord Shiva. He attempted to cut his neck with the knife. The Chola king was shocked at his act and caught hold of the same and hugged the saint. The people who are rich in character will feel afraid of being blamed for no fault of them. They never used it to extend their life on this earth. Our saint Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar explains about this in his Thirukural as follows. Naan veli kolladum manno viyanyalam Penalar Melayavar. I recite Nan Velikoladu Mano Vianyalam Penalar Melayavar. Living is pride to the body. Living with proud is pride to the life. Thank you very much. Indeed, Nandri Vanakam.